Do you really know what you're growing? Let's take a minute to talk about seeds. I'm just out here in my workshop today and I'm planting a few seeds. Uh, and we'll pull these out, these some slice more. And we don't think too much, a lot of times we'll pick a variety because it looks good, it grows good. And uh, granted, if you're growing organically, it's it's much better to uh, when you're growing that same seed that you might get uh, commercially supplied, it's better to have that organic seed uh, or that seed organically grown. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today are selecting your seeds. Now, Recently, I watched a video, and it's on my uh, Facebook uh, Gardening Simplified page. I went ahead and posted a link there to it. But it talks about the nutrients that's in, that are in these uh, vegetables that you get nowadays. And you notice you go to the store and you buy a tomato, and the tomato has no flavor. Well, it's, it's a hybrid. It's designed for long shelf life and uh it actually goes through and shows you how some of those tomatoes just uh it takes them a long time before they start to decay which should tell you something but but anyway they know they don't have any flavor but they want a nice pretty tomato that'll sit on the shelf and and when you go to the farmer's market if you're looking for those tomatoes you know some of us will have some i i have grown a few that are hybrids but I prefer to grow heirloom varieties or open pollinators because these are, these, if they've been hybridized, it, it would be by uh, natural selection. You know, that maybe they got cross pollinated and you save seeds from that one and it was really a great one or whatever. But when you're buying your seeds, you need to know, like say, this slice more, this is a hybrid. But <clears throat> we can go over here. And we can find this Armenian striped cucumber uh, right here is an uh, heirloom variety. Uh, now I have another one here that is a uh, salt and pepper cucumber. This is a hybrid. Now <clears throat> I have uh, some straight eights, which are a pick, good pickling uh, cucumber. Now th these are heirloom variety. And uh, Market More 76, it's a pretty cucumber. It's not quite as productive as the uh, <clears throat> the Slice More, but it, but it is a nice looking cucumber and, and it is fairly productive. But what I'm wanting to get at with these seeds are the fact that uh, whenever you start, if you watch this video, it goes through and it talks about uh, they run tests on these back in the 50s they they ran tests to see you know the uh, nutrient content in these vegetables and compared to the ones with all these hybrids today you can compare those same ones and they they did a test uh, nowadays with them and the nutrient level the nutrient density of this of the food is really really low now I mean when you buy food in the store uh, it just doesn't have those uh, nutrients in it like your heirloom or your open pollinator varieties. And not to mention they don't have the flavor of them. Now some of them have a little bit of flavor and they do taste much better when they're not forced to grow with uh, chemical fertilizers. You're, you, you know, if you're using an organic, it's, it's going to be converted uh, slowly and, and uplifted through the plant. But if you're using a chemical one, it's going to come in there. It's not going to have that conversion deal. It's going to be absorbed uh, right up to it. Now, a lot of people might argue whichever way. And, and uh, I'm just going to give you the straight truth, you know. Uh, whenever you start putting chemicals to increase the size of your vegetables and and all that and you're not improving your soil by it 
uh, you're not going to have as good a food, food quality. And you have to understand, actually, it gets a little more advanced in the science of, of growing food. But what I really wanted to uh, touch on and, and uh, make you understand the importance of, if you're going to grow your own food and you want that store-bought looking food, well, just go to the store because you're not, you're just, you know, you're going to have, uh, you're not going to have good quality food. But if you take the time, you select your varieties, and a lot of us at home gardeners is the reason we do garden and we plant our own seeds is for the reason that we can select the, the varieties. Now, occasionally you might want a certain, certain type of, uh, vegetable excuse me uh, but as far as uh for your main crops and things like that you need to select uh a lot of these varieties that's been around not just get away from these hybrids uh you know i've recently i've converted over to all organic uh year before last I started and uh, completely switched over last year and I'm getting more and more selective on my seeds in fact I'm, I'm going to do away with some but I'm getting to where I'm focusing on uh, a whole lot healthier uh, vegetables flavorful, flavorful vegetables so uh, if you're if you're looking for nutrition you're wanting more nutrition and you have a small space then take and uh select you some some uh varieties that's that's been around uh for years you know get away from all these hybrids and stuff a lot of those uh seeds that you buy uh, say in your big box stores and stuff a lot of those are hybrid seeds it's not going to tell you on the pr package you're going to have to do your own research and uh, you can go to a lot of companies like Baker Creek. They they don't have any hybrid seeds. You know, there's a lot of other companies that have not non-hybrid seeds, but you'll have to do your research for them. A lot of them they're not clearly marked. They are hybrids and stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little bit more knowledge for your your gardening. Uh, and of course, as always, uh, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe and hit the bell button. Happy gardening.